Okay, this battle will mostly be around trimmer functionality, and if trimmer app can do a better job than Pitivy. Also to mention, I'm not using any of those two, but I had none trouble to export a video with either. Anyway, let's get ready to rumble! So, for this test I'm gonna use this video which is my last upload. And I'm gonna start with video trimmer, that launches immediately which is always a nice ability. Another important bonus for this comparison is that we can right away drag and open our file to the app. However this is gonna fail, and it will even crash the app. That's because of Flatpak default permissions, and give me a few seconds to fix the problem from Flatseal. We only need to allow access to our home directory, and anyway, I'm quickly showing the process if someone doesn't know. So I'm giving access to all file systems. And if we open Video Trimmer again, and try again to drag our file to the app, this time it will work. And by the way, the video will immediately start playing. Now, we have this yellow bar that basically indicates the part we want to export. So for example if we want to export the very first minute, we need to drag it all the way to the left, and then we can set the time with the keyboard for more precision. So we have our 1 minute video, but something very terrible is that we can only trim out a continuous segment. We can select 2 or more different parts of the video and then join them, and this is a very serious limitation of this app. That issue aside we next tap at trim button, the file picker opens, we tap again at save, and boom! The video was exported in no time at all! Super awesome! So this is our file, and if we open it, we'll see it is the very first minute of the video as expected. Okay, I guess we're done here, so let's close this, and try the same move with Pitivy next. The first drawback is that Pitivy takes a few seconds to start. And the second drawback is that after it launches we need to press at new and it also needs more screen space. But then, we can just drag and drop our file in the app, and we are ready for epic trimming. Obviously here we can select multiple parts of the video and compose them together, but for this demo I will only select the very first minute as before. So basically we need a single cut. And we are ready to export. This is a video editing app though, therefore it is going to perform an encoding. I won't waste any time on video format options, I will leave it on default YouTube profile, and I will tap the render button. The rendering took a minute and a half, which isn't exactly a world record unless you count from the end, but we are finally done so we can close this. And as you can see, the closing process isn't something you can ignore if you care for UI speed. Now, there is one last thing to notice here. The export from the Trimmer app kept the original video quality and created a 20 megabytes file. But the export from Pitivy changed the video encoding and created a file of 6 megabytes. Then again, that isn't necessarily bad because the original video was exported in a very high quality, so if we compare the two videos side by side with the Identity app, we hardly notice the quality drop. And meanwhile Identity still can't play two videos actually side by side. And so, that was everything. Trimmer is focused on UI performance, it is also usable in GNOME phones if you have a such thing, but the fact we can only select a continuous video segment it is truly killing it. Hum, thank you for watching me. Coco out.